going to explain exactly what's going to take place. There's going to be a global blackout due to a massive solar flare that's going to take place. If you have noticed, we've been getting back-to-back -back solar flares on a consistent basis, sometimes even for a day. Massive solar flare is going to cause anything that utilizes electricity to malfunction. It's referred to as a CME or coronal mass ejection. EMPs can actually have the same effect as EMPs, which is electromagnetic pulse. This global blackout take place, this is when our telepathic ability is actually going to begin to settle in. All right, the ones that are chosen, the ones that are elected, the ones that are aware, those that are enlightened are actually going to be aware of what's actually happening. And what's going to happen is a channel is going to turn on and we are going to be able to telepathically sync into this channel. We're going to be simultaneously hearing each other's thoughts. Characters like Professor Xavier are actually predicated off these abilities, all right? We actually were telepathic in the past. We didn't have to communicate verbally, and we are going to revert back to that once this technology uh, malfunctions. We're going to revert back to nature. Um, what's going to actually transpire is the ionized particles are going to hit us, and it's going to actually give us more access to the light photon spectrum. We're going to actually ascertain more ancient memories. Our dormant thoughts are going to come online. Now, Speaking telepathically is just like riding a bike to us ancient uh, as far as our ancient memories We just currently are in the sleep spell But once we are we are reawakened and on um, that uh, what they call so-called quote-unquote junk DNA Begins to awaken one of the first things that we're going to actually develop is telepathy When you hear certain individuals that claim they hear voices in their head, they're telepathic. All right, they're not schizophrenic, they're not crazy. A lot of these people in sanitariums and insane asylums are actually gifted and have abilities. All right, when they talk about the school of the gifted, that's facts. All right, a lot of these individuals that they dope up with pills and place in those insane asylums actually have real abilities. So, you know, next time you think about someone that actually hears voices, it's primarily because their electrical current, because we're all electrical beings, are actually tapping into the ethers and they're actually picking up those frequencies. Uh, typically, when you hear ringing in the ears, your tele tele telepathy could be turning on and it could be actually coming through through a transmission sequences of a ring. All right. Once we develop these abilities, it's no longer going to be loud, piercing, annoying rings. It's going to be in a flat out voice, just like if you hear a voice in your own head when you think of something. Deceptive technology that they utilize in this matrix is for the sole purpose of making us forget who we are. All right, as you see that this is this is ball. If you, you can pay attention to the illustration of the horns right here, the face, you'll see that that's ball. And they utilize dark magic in certain uh, certain geometric shapes in order to basically bend this uh, paradigm to, it, to their will. The electrical grid system shut down. What's gonna happen is we're gonna no longer be distracted by our tablets, by our cell phones, by all of the devices. By the blue light radiation is going to no longer be affecting our pineal gland and all the other deceptive electromagnetic frequencies that they utilize are, are, are going to no longer be playing in the background. Be surprised how many deceptive frequencies they utilize to keep us from ascension to the root consciousness. The endocrine system is what's required for amplification of telepathy, all right? And this is the brain, the pituitary gland, the pineal gland, the mandula oblongata. Uh, the cerebellum the spinal cord all of that is actually working in synergy in order for you to actually us to tap into our telepathy why they utilize chemicals like atrazine which is a herbicide designed to basically be what's called an endocrine disruptor this has adverse effects on your endocrine system macro root is great for the endocrine system all right i use black macro root every single day all right i have the black macro root i consume it every single day uh, this is available on holistic remedies for ascension link in bio Macaroo is not only beneficial for decalcifying and activating the pineal gland, but it's also great for the libido. Macaroo has been known to substantially improve sexual function. So recommend Eurovetic herbs such as lion's mane, aka Heracium arenaceus, uh, Heritaki, as well as Ginkgo biloba. All right, these three are phenomenal for decalcifying as well as activating the pineal gland. Also, Ormus. Ormus is another elixir that would substantially begin to amplify your telepathy. All right, and these are the herbs that you need to start utilizing, all right, on a consistent basis. We actually already have our powers. We just have to actually revitalize ourselves. We have to start utilizing the necessary herbs to rebuild ourselves again. They've been poisoning us on a consistent basis. They've been pumping out different frequencies on a consistent basis. They've been disconnecting us from nature purposely, all right, on a consistent basis. So we have to actually revert back to that. 
also stress the importance of utilization of chlorophyll because the solar flares are going to be continuing to ramp up and you want to ensure that the lead, cadmium, and mercury is properly purged from your system. Say hypothetically speaking, the grid went down today and we had no more fans and things of that nature. We had no more air conditioner. The sun would be unbearable for those in hotter regions. Okay, I'm in Florida currently and I know it would be very hot. But since I've been detoxing and I actually been removing the toxic metals, I would be able to endure the sun a lot better than someone else uh, would be able to endure the atmospheric conditions without uh, fan and air circulating coming through or without proper ventilation. All right, your body at that point would have to actually kick into its natural defense mechanisms. And that's what the eumelanin's job is. But they've been utilizing toxic metals to basically circumvent the eumelanin's job, all right, to allow you ample protection. So this is why you must purge yourself and cleanse yourself to return back to nature and goddesses that actually be underneath the comment section how we all communicate right and you're reading this and y'all all dialogue back and forth that's exactly how it's gonna be but just on a telepathic level and i've seen this i actually been in these visions where i've seen us all levitating flying we were telepathically in sync the first thing that's gonna happen first is we're gonna actually develop our own language. We're gonna have the ability of all speaking an ancient language of some sort. And then in the vision, I seen us then go from speaking that language to then becoming telepathic. It's gonna happen in, in layers, right? As far as our ascension process. But this all come with you knowing that you are God or that knowing that you are a goddess. It all starts with that and with you not worshiping anything outside yourself told you that some of your spirit guides are actually other future versions of you from different timelines. The versions from you from different universes are in timelines are going to actually join in a quantum field and beginning to merge into one avatar and consciousness. All right. And all that primordial ancient wisdom is going to actually be bubbling in inside you. All right. You're going to remember ancient lives. You're going to remember ancient mathematics. You're going to begin to, at that point, access what they call so-called quote-unquote junk DNA. You're going to access all of that. And once you begin to access that, you're going to be able to learn how to shift the polarity and what they call gravity. You're going to have the ability of levitating above ground, flying, and projecting energy and kundalini uh, out of your hands. You're going to have the ability of then doing that. All right. And this is all that's coming. And this is why they have been dumbing us down substantially and why they block messages like this from getting out and why uh, pages like TikTok shut me down when I tell you to actually start to cleanse yourself. All right. And this is why they, uh, again, kill people like Dr. Sabi from telling you to be alkaline. Once you had a seven pH. All right. You've been consuming a lot of chlorophyll and you had a seven pH. Your electrical uh, output is going to be tremendous. All right. Your heart is a capacitor and it pumps out your auric field. Once you actually have increased your electrical output, you've been wearing a copper bracelet, you've been utilizing the proper herbs to ensure that you're in homeostasis, your electrical current is going to increase substantially. Put that in conjunction with grounding, sun gazing, transmuting that, that cosmic energy the correct way. What's going to happen is you're going to begin to transform to superhuman or metahuman. And things like DNA tuning forks and Tibetan singing bowls as well. All right. Re remember, we're moving to our light body. We are frequency primarily. They always utilize deceptive frequencies, deceptive technologies and wavelengths. All right. And this is why they got rid of all the bells. They got rid of all the bells. So if you start keeping things like this, all right, different frequencies. I utilize uh, binaural beats in different frequencies every single day to stimulate the pineal gland. This is something that's essential for ascension high quality herbs and metaphysical products for spiritual elevation, click the link in my bio and visit Holistic Remedies, your extension to Ascension.